one of the questions or the main question is FMT safe in patients with, who are immunocompromised? And we know that patients with acute graft versus host disease actually represent one of the most immunocompromised uh, patient population, patients usually on steroids, uh, after long hospitalizations with a poor, uh, poor a, a function of the immune system. So at least initial studies and immunocompromised patients, and there is quite a lot of experience now, have reported FMT to be safe in this population. And this primarily came from patients with IBD or inflammatory bowel disease, some solid organ transplantations. And, and there is a large series of about 100 patients developed, a, published by Kelly and colleagues. Uh, I think it was in 2014. Now, the data regarding safety of graft of FMT in treatment of graft versus host disease comes from the preliminary or early studies we have in the field. And in the, uh, I would say, dozens of patients treated or initially reported, it, it appears like a safe, uh, a safe intervention. However, a study published uh, about two years ago in the New England Journal of Medicine by the Philippe and colleagues reported two cases of uh, bloodstream infections after fecal microbiota transplantation, one in an AML patient, one in a hematopoietic cell transplantation recipient were treated with fecal microbiota transplantation and developed uh, a, a E. coli ESBL bloodstream infection that was a, or, or that originated in the donor. Now, we recently reported a, a series of a, cases of bloodstream infections after FMT for treatment of steroid resistant acute graft versus host disease. This was a, a, a study mainly performed at Shiba Medical Center where 22 patients received a fecal microbiota transplantation for treatment of GI acute GVHD. And we observed high rates of bloodstream infections following the FMT. So in these 22 patients, there were 33 events of bloodstream infections uh, reported uh, uh, up to a week after the FMT. <laughs> so obviously we were concerned that the uh, bloodstream infection source is from the uh, donation from the FMT. What we did in 13 patients is use a metagenomic or shotgun uh, sequencing approach where we sequenced the, uh, uh, the offending bacteria in the blood from the culture and then sequenced also the uh, stool sample from the patient and stool samples from the FMT donation. And what we saw there was in fact that none of the cases that we studied of the bloodstream infections were, <coughs> sorry, were a, a could be tracked back into the FMT donation. Uh, many of the cases were in fact, we could find the organism, the offending organism in the stool of the patient, even preceding the FMT. So this, to some extent, speaks to the safety of FMT. However, we could not overrule or we could not rule out, sorry, uh, a, a role of FMT for provoking, for instance, a, a bacterial tr translocation. So that could be an indirect sort of mechanism to induce blo uh, bloodstream infections. But I, I, I think that overall, the majority of the data supports the safety of FMT in patients with acute graft versus host disease.